In this video, I'll be showing you how to utilize the Simpsons one-third rule to numerically integrate a function. And so here we're given our formula uh, for the Simpsons one-third rule. And this is the function we're going to solve for. And this is a table I've made to make our calculations a bit easier. And so x here represents our boundaries. And from the function, we know that we have to integrate from 0 to 3. So we put 0 to 3. But if you look at the formula here, we evaluate this function at three different points, x0, x1, x2. So we have our x0 here, which is 0. And we have our final point, x2, which is 3. But we're missing our x1. So we just, well, here we make up our, uh, our middle point, And let's just uh, make this 1.5. So now we have our three points, x0, x1, x2. And now we, we evaluate the function here, 5 plus 3 cos x, at these points. So it's 5 plus 3 times cos, whoops, cos x, x here is 0, right? And that, and we just drag this down because here, same formula, but we're evaluating at, at x where x is 1.5 and here where x is 3. And so we have this and now we can just simply use this formula here. So it's b which is our upper bound, 3, minus a, which is our lower bound, which is 0 here, times f x 0, which is this, plus 4 times f x 1, which is this, plus f x 2, which is this. Then we divide that by, um, we divide that by 6. And we get the value for the integral, which is 15.439. Comparing that to the analytical solution here, it's close enough where the analytical is 15.42 and we got 15.43. It's close, but not the same. So there's actually a more accurate way. You can use the Simpsons one-third rule, and it just basically involves you evaluating this function at smaller points, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So let's just um, no fill this. And so here we evaluate this function directly from zero to three, right, basically. But you can actually take um, the integral of the smaller points, then sum the total of that integral, and you'll get uh, a value that should be closer to the analytical answer. And I'll um, show you this right now. So basically, let's evaluate from zero, uh, from uh, these points, these smaller points, up to 3. So what I mean is, because we need three points, right, x0, x1, x2, we're first going to evaluate from 0 to 0 0.6, that's our first uh, segment, and then 0 0.6 to 1.2, 1.2 to 1.8, 1.8 to 2.4, and then 2.4 to 3. Then after that, we sum all of that up. And so let's just drag this down. And this is an important step, and I'll show you why we have to do this. We merge um, this here, and then we just drag it down here. And, well, we don't drag it here because, look, if you drag it here, Excel integrates at an imaginary point, and we can't use that, so we don't use that. Then, so since here, if you look at this, this is the, the, uh, the sum of the integration from 0 to 0 0.6. This is from 0 0.6 to 1.2. This is from 1.2 to 1.8, 1.8 to 2.4, and finally 2.4 to 3. So we've actually integrated from 0 to 3. We sum that up, and basically we sum the smaller the uh, the, the integrals of the smaller points uh, here, and we get the final value, which is the sum of the big integral from 0 to 3, from here to here. And if you look at the value here, look. It's very close, right? 15.423, here it's 15.423. Um, basically the same thing, whereas before we had 15.43 for this value here. And the reason why we merge this is here. Let's just uh, control Z all of this. And let's say I just uh, drag this down. Look, first of all, you can notice we have very, very weird values here. And second here, Okay, this is correct, right? We're evaluating from 0 to 0 0.6, but look at the second point. It evaluates from 0 0.3 to 0 
which doesn't make any sense because in here we've evaluated from 0 to 0 0.6. So our next step should be evaluating from 0 0.6 here to 1.2, right? Because it's our here, 1, 2, 3 points. So 1, 2, 3. So it should go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and they should go 1, 2, 3, and so on. Look. And here it evaluates from 0 0.6 to 1.2. So um, it doesn't make any sense. Um, it doesn't, Excel won't understand this formula unless you merge the cells. So we just merge them here. Uh, yeah, it's okay. And it'll make more sense. Again, we get the same thing. Let's try check it out. Right, 15.4333. All right, so that's it for the Simpsons one-third rule. Uh, thank you for watching this video.